Hello everyone and welcome back. It's Easter 2023 and we're off to the Fens, Fields End Water Caravan Park, Doddington in Cambridgeshire. We've managed to get ourselves a waterside pitch and it's an absolutely lovely site. So stay tuned and we'll show you the site and the pitch. Hello again. You join us at the Rings End Junction of the A47 and the A141 at March in Cambridgeshire, where we are roughly 15 miles from the Fields End site. Now we're going to take you to the site not following the satnav or any mapping software, because when we were on site, the road through Doddington was closed for the installation of a new pedestrian crossing, and to be honest, we found this way much better as it was main roads apart from the last few miles. Here we are approaching Chatteris on the A141 where we actually turn off the A141 towards Benwick and as you can see there is an Aldi supermarket and an Apple Green service station with a small shop, Costa and Greg's Bakery on the roundabout which is quite handy from the site. And now we're taking the fourth exit towards Benwick which will take us all the way into Doddington. need to be extremely careful. The road is very very uneven and sunk in places which isn't ideal for towing a two ton caravan. It is passable with care but it would be very very easy to lose a motor mover here so please be very very careful at this section. And here we are. You enter the site and approach reception on this single track road. There is a passing place on the left and as you approach reception you need to bear right and park outside reception to check in. If there is a queue you're asked to stay with your outfit until it is your turn to check in when you can park outside reception. And we are staying on the waterside pitches. You do need to bear in mind that there is a tight turn to get to the barrier, so you need to swing out to the right to make sure you are lined up for the barrier. When we pitched up, I had to reverse a little and ask Cosgetha to open the barrier because it was very, very tight. And uh, I was going to scrape the side of the caravan down a bush, which I wasn't happy to do, obviously. Thank you. 
As we enter Waterside, you'll see the facilities block, which we'll show you later. It's an absolutely stunning block, for, but for now, we'll do a lap of the Waterside site and we'll show you the new glamping pods and the 20 Premier fully serviced pitches, which are roughly 10 metres wide by 10 metres deep. Plenty of room for the caravan, car and an awning if you want one up. And all Waterside pitches are just 3 metres from the Waterside with their own private fishing swim. I'll do a walk around the pitch and facilities block later in the video, but an added benefit which we absolutely loved of Waterside is that you can park nose in facing the lake. And the views from the caravan are stunning with lots of wildlife and actually the lake itself. So I just want to show you the pitch. Um, quick walk around the pitch and the uh, and the view we've actually got from the from the caravan and the surrounding pitch. Now I just want to apologise for the voiceover. We, um, as you can probably see in the video, we've we've had we've had and having quite a bit of weather. It, it's Easter 2023 and uh, we're we're the other side of a absolute biblical rainstorm. And um, I just wasn't happy with the quality of the video, um, the quality of the sound in the video. So as you can see. This pitch is absolutely huge. It's a good 10 metres by 10 metres. Um, plenty of room for the car, the caravan. We've got the canopy up this time because we couldn't get the awning up. And there were the wind. The wind speed here is about 20 miles an hour, which is probably at the limit where I'd I'd have this canopy up. But we did actually try to put the full awning up because we were we were here for a week, and it was just nigh impossible. I mean, we could have we. Once we got it pegged down, we'd have been okay, I think, but it was just actually getting it down. I mean, I'd fed the awning through, and Heather was actually stood on it, and it was lifting her up. So, yeah, we um, we we didn't uh, we didn't do it that way. But I just want to show you these views. I mean, this is this is the view from our pitch, and the facilities block just there on the left. There's a little island in the middle of the lake there. It's um, it's where the ducks and geese live. There's um, there's your complement of ducks, as Canadian geese. Um, I don't know what they're called, but normal geese, as I call them. Um, and, a, and a view all around the pitch now they're not kidding when they say this is a tranquil park they, there is absolute nothing around here for a couple of miles in, until you get into like Doddington village or another village further up the road um, your own private fishing swim there we, we sat there and just watched the world go by for, a, for an hour and had a couple of drinks and uh, when the wind had died down there was a lot of heat there it was lovely um, 16 amp uh, fully serviced pitch I mentioned earlier, uh, 16 amp pitch, more than enough, great um, great pitch there. And the water tap and the, uh, and the drain. So with us parking nose in, I, um, you, you're gonna, you may chuckle at this in a second, but I, uh, I almost built a, a bit of a Roman aqueduct, as you'll as you'll see in a second. I've I've brought my my uh, 
and Trudgenesque plastic pipes, but I'd also had to get the collapse pipes out as well and uh, get the straps and some shoelaces out and uh, tie, try and tie the pipes to the to the wheel. I'd, I'd never actually set up the the waist to go this way. I'd, I'd always set it up to go to go towards the rear with the caravan. So that was that was quite a feat, getting the water to flow <laughs> almost uphill. So um, no, I was I was I was quite proud of myself there because we'd uh, we'd built an almost we'd built an aqueduct and. Um, yeah, the, the the pipe did actually did actually work, believe it or not. And then obviously fed into the collapse there. And just want to go back out to this uh, this view. That it, it speaks for itself. I thoroughly recommend this site. Absolutely beautiful site. So we're just going to head towards the facilities now. Um, want to show you this bridge and uh, quite a lot more stunning views. I mean, this this bridge is an absolutely brilliant idea, and you can just get a gauge of what this site looks like. Oh, there's the Canadian goose. He was he was a bit angry that lad. He was uh, he wasn't happy at all. <laughs> Whenever you went near him, he uh, he certainly told you he didn't want you near him. As we get across the bridge to the uh, head towards the facilities block, and there's everything here. There's the uh, the bins, the Elson, obviously the showers, all that good stuff. Just do a walk round, head into the bins now. Uh, nothing to see here, just usual usual good stuff. Just want to show you the quality of these facilities, so you know. Proper, proper bins, proper skips, all the recycling, general waste, and your and your mixed recyclables there as well. So they the do really do it properly here. And then round to the block, you'll see the entrance road where we came in. And uh, one thing I do like about these, it's uh, it needs a key code. I'm obviously not going to show you the key code, but you need a key code to get in because it's only for use by by waterside residents just makes it feel a little bit more exclusive it's a uh, i'll say it's not not a cheap site but it's not an expensive site i, I think we paid uh, over easter over easter week i think we paid an average of about 38 pounds a night which for a site like this you, you don't really mind and into the uh the disabled um the disabled suite i mean look at the size of this and there's uh plenty of space there to uh to get changed uh, there's the usual toilet basin hand dryer but it's just a sheer space i mean there's a, there's a shower seat there if you're if you're not so mobile it, it's a cracking space this i mean i, I don't know if some of you know but I, I do have a bit of limited mobility and uh and i i used this and it, it was absolutely great and you can see why the site won um, they call it Lou of the Year Awards, and they, they in 2022 they won the Platinum Accolade, and you can see why. And again, unisex blocks here. Um, all three, the three remaining blocks are the same, so I'll only show you the one. We'll just go into another one, but again, space-wise, these are these are fantastic. It's uh, there's not many sites that have have space like this. Heather went in in this one, and she said it was absolutely brilliant. There was there was plenty of um, plenty of hot water, plenty of shower pressure, and these are a very nice touch. Um, ignore that full in the mirror, in the mirror. Um, but these these lights, I mean, you look like give a fool a button, see what happens, eh? Um, the light, the mirrors are actually illuminated and heated, so you can set it to various levels of illumination, and you can put the heating on as well. So when you're in the shower, the there's, there's no steam on the windows, on the mirrors, sorry. Look at that, give a fool a button. Press, press, press. Do not press this button. Right, onwards. Um, all got left in here now is the um, the washing up area. There's a hairdryer in here. Washing up area, laundry. Again, 
quality stuff. I couldn't get the price of the uh, of the washer dryers. Um, there were there were some screens on there. We didn't use them, so I uh, I don't know what they uh, what they actually cost. It I, I wouldn't have suspected it'd be much. It's usually three or four pounds a, a cycle, isn't it, on most of these sites? But again, you can see top notch facilities. And um, again, apologies for the voiceover, but I would have had to have voiced over in here anyway because they had um, they had the radio playing out, and uh, it was to be honest when we were in here, it was a good old eighties night. It was great, loved it. A um, bit of information here, so tells you about the local pubs, takeaways, shops, etc., and plenty of information around the surrounding area. Absolutely great. I'm back outside. Um, just on this side now, I think one pods there on the right. Just outside now, we have some um, just normal toilets, uh, both unisex, both the same. I'm just going to show you one of them. It's uh, again, just want to show you the quality of facilities. Just a good old toilet basin, hand dryer. Um, again, great. Both exactly the same. So I'm, I'm not going to take you in both of them. Um, what we're going to do now is walk round to the uh, to the Elson Point. I mean, look at that view. I'll never get bored of that view. We we are definitely going back to Fields End, and just to the good old Elson Point again. Usual, usual stuff. There's really nothing uh, nothing really to say on that one. It uh, it works. It <laughs> it works well. And uh, just back to that view. So would we come back to Fields End? Absolutely. Are we coming back to Fields End? Most definitely. It is one of the best sites we have ever been to. I cannot praise it enough. I just wish we'd uh, had a chance to stay longer. And out and about in the surrounding area, you have Ely. <clears throat> That's Ely Cathedral there. Um, lots to do around Ely. Great market. Um, we also went to Duxford, as you can see in the pictures. Um, I'm a bit of a plain nut, so we uh, went to the Duxford Air Museum. But there's also um, Cambridge, March, lots of beautiful places. Too many to mention, to be honest. You, you really do need to uh, look at the area around around Cambridge. Sure, it is, it is absolutely gorgeous. And now just a little bit of fun. I actually recorded one of the rainstorms that we had. It was absolutely biblical. Oh, 40 mile an hour winds, fields and water. It really is a lovely place though. Proper rain and wind that. But joking apart, this site is absolutely brilliant. Um, as I said earlier, we're definitely coming back. Don't let the weather put you off. It it, it rains everywhere. It's the UK. You know, you go to Italy if you don't want if you don't want rain. Um, it's an adult only five star tranquil park, and it deserves every one of those stars. To be honest. Um, I wish I'd managed to video more of the site for you because the uh, we've only we've only been on the water side. Um, there are actually a couple of other parks and uh, and what was a CL. There's also a little cafe, a couple of other lakes as well. But but next time we go, we'll we'll certainly be going next year. Um, I'll make sure I do a a more comprehensive review of the site for you. Um, just want to say thanks for watching. Um, if you got this far, thank you very much and uh, well done. Um, if you like the video, please like, subscribe, put the thumbs up, all that usual good stuff, and thanks very much, and I'll hopefully see you on the next one. Thanks a lot.